We're following that huge power change that's going to be happening later this morning in Washington, D.C. and West Michigan. We'll play a big part of it. Now, right now, we're talking live with uh, Congressman-elect Bill Heisinger from Zealand, joining us right now. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning, Brett. Good morning, Dee. Congressman-elect, maybe you can uh, fill us in a little bit. I know you know your way around Washington. You worked for Congressman Pete Hoekstra previously, but now you're the one in the seat. Can you tell us what's on your plate for today and in the coming weeks? Yeah, well, we've uh, we've had a busy couple of days as uh, as we've uh, been going on this week. We got the keys to the office and uh, getting moved in and getting staff uh, all set and ready to go. Uh, and uh, it was, I will admit, it was a little strange sitting in a uh, in an office very similar uh, to what Pete Hoekstra had had previously in Longworth, uh, Longworth office building. And I was kind of sitting there and looking up and around and. It's like, okay, I need a few more things here to make it really feel like we've I've transitioned from that staff role into, into actually being the guy who's going to push the button, yes or no. <laughs> uh, but uh, it, it's definitely been helpful having that experience and both uh, working for Pete and then uh, in Lansing as well, just to, just to get a, a feel for the pace and, and what's going on. So, uh, but feel very eager, uh, very ready to go, and uh, my colleagues are as well. well. What's on your agenda here? I mean, obviously you're going to be uh, sworn in today. Uh, really yep. exciting opportunity there. Is there anything else happening today, or is that kind of basically it? And then what happens uh, in the next few days? Yeah, a great question. And actually, uh, we do get sworn in. It starts at noon. Uh, and uh, what they'll do is they'll read through the roster, the all 435 people that have been elected, the new people and the uh, returning people. That takes an hour. Uh, and then there's going to be a vote uh, for uh, who is going to be Speaker of the House. Uh, obviously, we anticipate that being John uh, John Boehner uh, with the uh, with the Republican majority now. So that takes another hour. So at right at about two o'clock, John Boehner gets sworn in. Uh, Nancy Pelosi makes a statement. Then John Boehner makes a short speech, and then uh, we take our oath of office uh, in mass uh, on the House floor. Uh, and then we start voting, frankly, Brett. Uh, we're going to be uh, voting on some rules changes. Uh, we're going to be voting on uh, reducing our budgets within our offices already. Uh, and I think that's uh, you know, a very substantive but also symbolic thing to, uh, to the people not only back in West Michigan but around the nation who said, hey, we want you to do uh, business differently. And uh, so we're, we're heading down that path. Uh, I can tell you yesterday we had a three-hour conference meeting, which is like a caucus, uh, and uh, debating those rules and talking about those rules. And uh, we're, we're serious. The, the, uh, the establishment's are slightly nervous with a whole group of uh, new freshmen showing up. Uh, and they should be. Uh, you know, we need to make sure both sides of the aisle need to make sure that uh, they understand that uh, we've got a whole new set of people coming in and they're, they're eager to do things uh, a little different. And I know there's a lot on your plate in the coming months, but tell us a little bit about what you've been doing in the last couple of days. I know you've been in Washington. You mentioned trying to get settled in your office a little bit, but there's a lot of meetings and a lot of sort of showing you around town a little bit. Can you tell us what you've been up to in the last couple of days? Yeah, we, uh, we got the whole family out here. Natalie and I drove out with our five kids, and uh, it was, it, we've had a couple of special moments where just as a family, we've gone walking through the Capitol, and, and Natalie and I and the kids all went to the inaugural of Rick Snyder on the 1st, on, on Saturday. And, you know, I that has, had been where I had worked for a period of time, and the kids had been there, and we just wanted to have sort of them to, to see the, the full package and to be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together. So on Saturday... Uh, we, uh, we, we saw the Michigan Capitol and, and uh, where Dad had worked there. Uh, then on uh, Monday evening, we're walking through the Capitol here in Washington and where Daddy's going to work. And uh, so you know, my, my four-year-old Seeger is doing barrel rolls in the rotunda, and uh, he's, a, he's on a, he's on a uh, super secret spy kick right now. So he's, he was just loving it, running around the Capitol. And, uh, then uh, my, my dad, my 89-year-old uh, father, uh, and my mom and the rest of the family all came in. So we've got everybody in town, and uh, we're just having some special times together as a family. Uh, and but as you said, Dee, you know, we already have meetings. I sat down with the, uh, um, uh, the committee staff yesterday. I'm on the financial services, which used to be known as banking committee, uh, going through issues and what we're going to be dealing with soon. And uh, so we're, we're hitting the ground running. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Congressman-elect Bill Heisinger. We appreciate you joining us this morning. We'll be right back. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you. Yeah.